Hi. I love California because I, I mean, you know, I woke up in the desert and now I'm at the beach. It's so cool. And along the way, I got to, am I really echoey? I feel like I'm super echoey. No? Okay. The echo's coming this way. That's right. Uh, and plus, we got to drive through such um, exotic places as uh, Lucerne Valley and uh, an Apple Valley and Victorville and Pear Blossom. It's amazing. Yes. Where you can find businesses that not only sell uh, like hot tub parts, but will also like fix your septic tank and sell you firewood and probably, probably. Which one? I don't know. Um, so yeah, as uh, as Phil mentioned, I was born and raised in Josh Tree. Graduated from Yuck Valley High School. Went off to get my education and. Um, met my husband, and also it's my husband Jonathan's birthday today. How about a round of applause? I did it. I did it. He's 34. I did it. He's 34. Thank you. So for now, he's five days older than me, but then we're going to catch up with each other, which is pretty great. Yeah. So I'll dedicate my reading to my, my ghost Morgis. Ghost more just because one sleepy morning I woke up and I, I was trying to say something really sweet and I said, you're the ghost more just, and what I meant was, you are the most gorgeous, but I transposed my letter, so now, it's, now you're in on the joke. All right, okay, I'll just start here. This is called, sometimes three hawks Sitting on a fence post means what you want it to mean in Victorville, California. Sometimes, during the usual months, it is spring in Victorville. You will not find the ordinary nest with the ordinary eggs all speckled and warm, but a half-eaten peach instead. As you would not touch a bird's egg, do not touch the bird's peach. Sometimes we need to be chosen, even though we are a sideways vine with a backwards bloom. My father, a cop, a white man, found his second mother. She was the granddaughter of Black Elk, worked citizens patrol in Victorville. She called him my son. He listened to her the way young boys drink water, both hands around the cup, gulping. Seeds in the garden do what they want. Is it a bad seed because it did not please us? Try to find the sense that is not. You will happen across three hawks sitting on a fence post and take it as a sign. But no, I'm telling you, those are black chickens. <laughs> but that's a true story. My, um, my dad, um, after being demoted for a whole other story, had to, had to be based out in Victorville. And uh, he really did meet the granddaughter of Black Elk and she took him on as his son. And that was a whole 10 year chapter of our lives. Thieving feet. Shoeless in the November evening, crouched in the well of a pinion pine, I watch my father, who is in the middle of the backyard between the chicken coop and garage. He is wearing gym shorts stained with axle grease and mustard. His black mustache, farmer's tan, praying or singing. I can't tell which, but I have wished myself invisible. Just two days ago, I woke him up in the middle of the night. He mistook me for a crook. He put his hand around my throat until his eyes could focus and my thieving feet shook. He prays, he sings, he steps over a pile of leaves. Finally, he sees me, or someone like me. 
You forgot, he says, to rake these. <laughs> Buying food. I wore a black cape and yellow skates. He wore a Kevlar vest. We did not know we were afraid. Occasionally my ear would pop against my father's gun hip, bloom a silent red. When I hugged him, his gold star pressed cold against my cheek. He would see a pervert, squeeze my shoulder, point like a hunting dog at a man buying birthday candles or lingering by the cheese. 20 years on the same streets and you just know. No one seemed to notice how our blue shadows swept the aisles. And so we lived without her, chose cans and boxes that looked the most like food. He's since gotten to retire from being a cop, and now he makes music, so that's pretty cool. Echolalia. At the county fair in Ferndale, California, the boys kill men on a 52-inch television that shines from the bed of a black Hummer H3T. Hello, boys. What are you doing? All at once. Call of duty! The recruiter says they are learning and having fun. Look at the blood, it looks so real. When have you ever seen blood spurt? Call of duty! What color is the lily? What color is the lily? Say red, say red. I want to understand the echo by stepping inside of its canyon. The dry grass would be unmoved by the boom of a grenade on the base, but I would be ringing. I would be a jelly of bells. Hello down there. Hello down there. Down there. Down there. The color of the desert lilies might have been red, but the police weren't looking for them. They were looking for a body, a boy's. He was lured to Goat Mountain by a classmate. If you stand here at my bedroom window, you can see where it happened. This was long ago, but still you can hear its echo, each wave flailing through the walls like mutant bats. A monument crumbles, a leader, a no echo. A flower catches a boy's blood and catches a boy's blood for decades. I am mindful of my time here. All right, I'm just gonna read a couple more from Starshine, which is my newest book. Parties, one. In a coat closet full of the half-naked, sudden friends, the younger, older, painted faces. Was it a boy or was it a girl with the short hair, the clown's face, who kissed my clavicle as though lips could play the piano? Two. Never in our house, but this time, a party. And I remember only the waiting. Sitting on the roof of my mother's powder blue Buick, the dent I left in the roof. Strange children will love the waiting far more than the getting and take joy in the hours that pass. Waiting for hair to grow back, for a scab to form, for a house to fill with enough friends for a party. Wish. Starfall, headlights, wish. It takes hours to fill a house this way, one at a time petals dropped in an earthen well. Three, an invitation, will you come? Father planted big pine trees to keep people on the street from seeing in. 
what he doesn't know. The out is a bending back of the in. With his welder, he works close to the sparks. He sparks, he sparks. He creates a jailhouse for me to play in. I rattle the bars. Four, my mother and father are getting ready for a weekend of Halloween parties. Three parties, two nights. They spent months collecting rabbit furs, deer pelts, bear claws, shark teeth, rabbit feet, snake skin, and wooden beads the size of my toes. He carved two spears, hammered leather, pieces of metal, spears to split open the dirt and suck up the earth's mantle like fruit punch in a straw, if the right words are said. From the doorway of their bedroom, I watched the laying on of leather and furs, the darkening of eyes with charcoal powders, the pulling on of leopard print tights, the bestowing of bone necklaces, the adorning of wrists and ankles, the tying on of masks. They laugh and they laugh. I am the only human left to hear the hoop of hyenas, the purr and chuff of Bengal tigers, the pleading of wolves, the rubbing together of cheeks and necks. No one at the party will know what they are. Deer people, night walkers, ghost tigers, a cop and a housewife, Eaten up. <laughs> All right, this will be the last one I'll read from Starshine, then I'll read some new stuff. Cops. <clears throat> one. I go to barbecues. I go to their backyards and their homes. I play with their daughters. Mrs. Lee, she's my keeper now. Every morning at 4 a.m., my father drops me off. I crawl into Cindy's bed and listen to her snore until sunrise. Mrs. Lee pours whole milk onto my lucky charms, slaps Betty Crocker onto my wonder bread, says, eat it all up. Two, yes, mommy, and yes, daddy, and yes, mommy, and yes, daddy, and yes, mommy. If one of them says just yes, then Officer Lee or Mother Lee snaps, yes, what? And the girl responds correctly. This morning, Officer Lee threw the oldest, Jessica, chest first against the wall because she didn't wash her cereal bowl. She's 13, and her breasts are new. She hadn't yet had a chance to try them out before they hit that wall. I always wash my bowl. Three. In two months, Officer Lee will smack Jessica a few times for asking to date Cal, captain of the basketball team, straight A student, because Cal is black, and captain of the basketball team, straight A student, black and those other things too, but he is black first. In five years, Jessica will join the army. Cut off her long blonde hair completely. She'll eat all of her food. Even if she only has five minutes, she'll clean her bowl until it almost sparkles. She'll use her toothbrush and her spit. If she has to, she'll get the job done. Four. Someday, when Jessica is back in town for a visit, She'll stand in line behind Cal at Walmart or Walgreens, someplace like that. She'll recognize him right away, even without seeing his face. She'll think about their one kiss behind the bleachers during halftime. She'll remember the flexing of his calves as his body rose toward heaven and the arc of the ball before he won the game. She'll remember each of the times her daddy hit her. 
pal's smooth lips, her father's uniform, the color of puke, the roar of the stadium, mommy's fingernails in her shoulder, Cal's handwriting, daddy's lumbering shadow, his flashing metal star. I didn't actually start my timer, I thought I had. So I haven't been keeping track of my time. Where am I at? You, how long have I been reading? What, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Either two minutes or 15 minutes. <laughs> no one knows. Okay. How are you guys doing? Good. You're doing well. Doing well. Okay, good. That's great. Okay. So I grew up in Joshua Tree, but I also grew up in Landers, uh, which you may know of because we had this really big earthquake, the Landers Fault, in 95, 90s, I don't know. It was like a 7.9. Landers is really only known for that and, and like meth houses. And <laughs> so that was my other place that I grew up. <clears throat> this is called Windfalls Visitors. If you're going to be a bird of prey and choose our soft shale as a place to keel, the man of the house will cut off your feet. If a poisonous snake, then your head will meet the shovel's edge. In that shed where the dog, Samson, sleeps, honeyed cans of shellac. See? Wonder can feel glamorous, even out here. Wonder at moonset in a rose-colored slip. Oh, wonder what will blow down. The woman of the house can't get a damn thing to grow. Lily bulbs are burned out 40 watts. She buries in radon sand. Despite wiggly isotopes, we still think filaments will do as crickets, rub together, but instead of chirping or light, a green shoot. The things we want to arrive hardly ever do. Yes, it used to be a landing strip for private planes, that road I walk. Sometimes it is a two-seater comes rattling our windows, bones, shelves of glass uranium. Oh, wonder, I don't trust you much. I don't like your kind, hanging a red haze around here, whole October long. Shapes you take, hatchet man, bark scorpion, carpet moth. What I would give to have only one door, the shape of me. One door, three locks. All right, I think this will be my last one. Um, the title is The Room I Entered Was a Dream of This Room. And that is um, the first line of a John Ashbery poem called This Room. The room I entered was a dream of this room. I'm closing my eyes so I can wear this room like a jacket with many pockets. And each pocket has inside it something I've forgotten. The touching of a coin, a remembering of gold suspended in 30-year dark. This is how I know it's true that inside a room is a room is a room. My mother is meditating on the Davenport, head bowed, eyes closed. I stop in the doorway, and because I am young, I think she is dead. I stare for several minutes. She has died so beautifully. I can't look away. Morning light 
on her blonde waves, a little smile that's not for me. I don't know yet that it is my fourth birthday. And when she comes back to her body, to the sound of my tongue pulling in my tears, she opens her eyes and tells me. Now I found a roundish wooden bead with a face that indents my thumb, a doll's head from a doll's body taken from a doll's house. I would put all the dolls in a pile, each one touching the others. There was always a storm outside my doll's house, an ocean lapping at the door. I made the dolls say, the firelight keeps changing your features tonight, but I still know you. The things I care for, I recite them all very quickly before I go to bed. First I say, dear Jesus, Please, please, God bless. We don't really believe in him, but there's his framed face on my wall. He is fresh from surfing. He smells of the wave about to break. And I can't just say names into a darkened room, can I? Someone has to be there to cup them. Someone with glowing palms. For over a decade, I go between my parents' houses, connected by a bridge. More bridge falls away each time I cross. The wind between the slats calls me down. The things I care for make holes in me, instrument me, tune me to the stars. When I finally fall, my body whistles. Thank you.